Hello everyone! Did you know that there is a hidden dark mode you can activate in Windows 7 and even in Vista and below if you want? Don't believe me? Here you go! This theme, which I've created here, makes use of Windows Classic and is therefore not available on Windows 8, 10 or 11. At least that's what they want us to believe. As you can see, in some aspects it's even better than the dark theme we have in modern Windows, as the control panel is dark and even individual applets are also dark. Now, it's not perfect as you will see, sometimes it's wrongly inverted like in this gadget. Sometimes it might be too dark for you to read the text as the text and background are both black. And sometimes, warning, this is not safe for your eyes, it's an absolute mess as you will see in Firefox. Ok, prepare for the worst color combination you will ever see in your life. I'm pretty sure this abomination is caused due to the fact that this dark mode obviously uses technology from, well, the 20th century as in the Windows Classic theme and it obviously doesn't report it's a dark mode to apps so they adjust accordingly. I'm confident that it'll look much better if I manually set Firefox to dark mode. Now, this is absolutely and entirely unrelated to modern dark mode, in fact, you could modify the colors to be like this way back in Windows 95, heck, even Windows 3.1 and earlier, if you want, and it's all to do with how the classic theme functions and how it allows you to modify basically every aspect of your user interface. No wonder they removed this antiquated theme and design language, if I can name it like that, as soon as they invented Metro Apps and then the Microsoft Store and uh, I'm surprised it even made its way into Windows 7. And do note that to offer this in the themes, they must have tested it with all of their new Aero Wizards and translucent UI, animations, gadgets, bells and whistles and everything. And seeing how the classic theme is just about incompatible with everything Aero, it's natural they had a lot of work to do in order to make the new visual elements borderline not awful when viewed in the classic theme. And with Windows 8 and the Metro design language, it became nearly impossible and certainly not cost effective to implement. So, as you can see, to achieve this color combination, you have to make use of the legacy window color and appearance applet, starting with the default Windows Classic and working your way through the various color settings, inverting text where possible and just blackening everything you can imagine until you invert everything. In fact, it's mostly about inverting the default appearance, which is generally light in color. In some places you might need to improvise a little bit, but it's mostly that. And here comes the conspiracy theory. So you all know that Windows Basic is available in Windows 10 and 11 in child windows. And I'm sure you've heard that in some places you can get Windows Classic to appear like Microsoft Office and VBA if you want. And maybe some of my viewers have also noticed that Windows Classic appears when there is some serious problem and the theme service doesn't want to work. Maybe some very knowledgeable folks have tried running explorer.exe as the user local service and have seen what it means not to be allowed to have a theme. And of course, there is the Win Classic website and numerous hacks to bring back classic theme. In short, it's known that the underlying system, without all the themes, can accept Windows Classic. What I'm asking here is whether the classic color configuration settings can be applied to the modern design language in order to create a better dark mode. And the answer is probably yes. I've seen destruction videos where they zero out the registry and then some weird rendering starts to happen with the colors. It's a matter of finding the correct registry values. And why am I so certain I found them right here?